Coach, your team made the CCIW tournament for the first time since 2019 last season. What are you going to have to do to get back to that point again this year? Well, I think there's uh, a couple things that, that pop into my mind. Um, the first thing is, is, is we got to be committed to each other. Um, we have to continue to uh, be invested in, in the relationships that we're building in our program. Um, I think our connection is a, com a competitive advantage for our team. Um, and then I think the obvious one is that we, we got to just get better every day. And, and that's one of our values and our, our core values is growth. Uh, we always say to our guys, we don't rise to the level of our goals. We fall to the level of our system. Um, so I think like, you know, even last year when external expectations weren't super high for our program, uh, I think we had high internal expectations for ourselves. And I think we have the same thing this year. We, we absolutely expect to, to be able to compete at a similar and hopefully a, a much better level than we did last year. But, um, you know, we know talk is cheap uh, and we know that uh, it's, it's about what we do each and every day and, and how committed we are to, to each other and, and ultimately our growth. And what are some of your strengths of this year's team? Uh, the first thing that pops into my mind when we talk about the, the strengths of our team is uh, I think we have a, a unique competitive spirit. Um, and when it's channeled right, when it's used right, uh, you know, I think, again, it's, a, it's an advantage for us. Um, you know, I, I think about just our continuity from last year. Uh, we had about eight or nine guys that were consistently in our rotation. Um, that'll be back this year. Uh, and, and I think they're not just back. I think they're they're hungry to continue to improve. I think they're hungry to uh, continue to raise the bar in our program. Uh, so I, th those two things pop in my head right away. And, and then I also think about just you know all the individual guys that we have. We have a lot of guys with with different strengths, but I think uh, a lot of different guys complement each other quite well. So we should have. Uh, a lot of options for different lineups that I think can present challenges to our opponents. And what can fans expect when they come out to a game here at Van Meal Gymnasium this year? I think we're going to be a team that's fun to watch. Um, you know, and I, I think last year, people who came out to games saw that, that we obviously try to get up and down the floor a little bit. Uh, I think in today's game, a lot of teams are trying to get up and down the floor. So, you know, I think that the, the, the fact that we play in transition isn't necessarily a unique thing, but we want to try to excel in it. Uh, but we also want to try to excel when we don't have a high value play in transition, that we play unselfishly in the half court, which to us just means that everybody cuts with an intention uh, to help our team create an advantage. Uh, it also means that we just simply make the right play over and over again. Then on the defensive end, you know, I think that we're going to be a team who – uh, you know, disrupts our opponents. We're going to be a team that flies around. We're going to be a team that's connected. Uh, you know, so ultimately, I think, you know, when somebody comes out to watch us, I hope it's fun to watch. Um, and I hope they see a bunch of dudes who uh, care about each other and ultimately care about winning.